How's it going guys, it's Anne Tommy back in and we've got another hot and spicy speed build. Um it's it's actually a seasons build, so it's themed around autumn slash fall. But uh, you're probably wondering why it's actually snowing at the moment in the video. Well it's um it was started it's well it started out as a winter build, you know, winter style build, but I actually um at it because I was messing around with the rev machine just uh yeah, you know, to turn it into snow, to you know, it's snowing. But I had to turn it back to like fallish weather, um, because well, you can't. I found a bit, a little bit annoying trying to build in the snow, especially the roofing. It just I couldn't see what I was doing really. So uh, I do change. It, it goes to like a, a cloudy kind of weather. Um, so I decided to make this a like you know a spring and uh, a spring a fall. Autumn house and it's a, a wicked, what I call a rickety old cabin. So it's uh, it's got a nice um like um plot of land outside in the back garden where you know you do your garden stuff and it has like a little outhouse you see in a minute just uh for your flowering arrangements and stuff. You see I'm just uh, messing out the uh, the rev machine and um I wanted I was like must have a can like a little conservatory. It's conservatory um, for this, and I wanted that to be where the flowering arrangement benches and all the plants that came with the seasons pack. Well, I actually turned, well, I'm gonna edit myself, turn into like a dining room, um, and a little outhouse you'll see in a bit. That's actually um, where the flowering arrangement is, and it does have a nice chunk, chunk delicious, I guess, chunk delicious um, fire. Um, thing on the side because I wanted to use the fireplace was it ornament so where it's called the fireplace top thing on the in this build so and that that's like roughly four by four it's a little bit less but it can only fit by four by four so I was like I'm gonna use that I could have put it on the roof but I decided to just put it on the side and then I used a lot of the seasons like wallpaper for the outside and inside um a new glass roof ooh, noise. Magic point over my mouse at the moment on my screen. But yeah, I went for like a dark old style outside because I thought, you know, it's a, I imagine like an oldish man, maybe like, like late adulthood and early, maybe it was a nice little, uh, um, ooh, what you call it, uh, when you both in the back on there. But yeah, like a elder, young adult, well, the late adult uh, man with oblivion. Actually, it's a pets friendly build too. Because um, imagine the guy who lives here has a dog. Well, it could be a cat if you put some cat stuff in. Um, but I can't. Look at it. My, my head and stuff is a bit laggy here. I'm trying to commentate over this. And it's just. It's. Um, yeah, it's been a bit slow. I take away the. Oh, I put the revenue machine over there. And I'd go on in the back garden. This is a. I, I was trying to figure out how I want to do it because I didn't want to use the the plant pot pot boxes things. I just wanted to do my own, and then I put like a, a bunch of sprinklers down. They they are quite chunky plots, so you can probably fit so much in the back garden. And then uh, we go on to the inside of the house. Did that jump into the inside? Did it? I don't know. If it did, apologies, but I didn't mean to cut that out. Um, but yeah, it's uh, we're on to the house now. We're using all the season stuff. Uh, the, this is the best voiceover ever. Um, but I decided I go color scheme words like yellow. Um, yeah, <laughs> and I used a lot of uh, I had play tested some of this, some of the rooms in this house to just make sure you know it works. And I used to get the leaf top of on top of the wardrobe. I had to like lift up just so it goes on top of the wardrobe because it's not meant to go on there. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty nice. It's like the first season's build, and I might do I might do one for each season. Um, but I'm not too sure. But I just I wanted to use all of season stuff, and this is basically most of it in here. I think there's a few summer stuff. I think. Um, but mostly it's this kind of. Oh, and the flooring is actually from Jungle Adventure. Um, I thought it fits well with the cabin theme. There's a bit where I had to add on 
uh, a room because there was no room <laughs> for the uh, for the, for a kitchen. So uh, I just popped one down, moved the uh, conservatory over, and the conservatories here. I was gonna mess with the shape of it, but when you put like a dial down, it just messes like the roof. Uh, roof it would have to be hanging off the roof. It's yeah, it didn't work out. Um, but yeah, I do like all these windows and doors from the from the new pack. It's it's very nice. And that walk, that yoga fence walk, that goes really nicely with that bed. It's like some of the stuff, some of the stuff from seasons that you nicely um, what you call it, mix well with the goes well with the uh, seasons pack. And we use the the new dining room table and chairs for the uh, dining room slash conservatory. And I wanted to, oh yeah, I'd managed to fit the um, the book, the new bookshelf. It's gigantic. I didn't want to, you know, make it smaller, shrink it because it's uh, a figure will probably be glitchy. Then. But I managed, because it's a conservatory, there's no ceiling. It's just the roof, so I managed to slip it in, in there. Um, it does work. I play tested that as well. And um, let's see, my head and software has been a bit slow. But yeah, we're on to the, the bathroom, I think. It's jumping all over the place. Uh, well, we're going on to the bathroom soon. It's empty. And I have to play test trying to get through to that room. Remember that? I'm not sure if I left that in because it was a, a bit of tight squeeze. Um, yeah. Um, and I'm not sure what, to, what else to say in this build. Um, I feel like my voiceover squeeze skills, my face over, my face over, yes, my face over, no, um, my voice over skills might be a bit rusty, I always say that, especially when I haven't done it in a while, it feels like I haven't done it in a while, <laughs> I tried this yesterday and it didn't work out, um, yeah, could it be more, um, moving around in the, uh, in the hall and stuff, oh yeah, I like this little thing, when you come in, you got the, like, the little tree in the plot, and the, in the, um, in the pot, and then uh, we got the umbrellas and everything. I was thinking of what to put on this um this massive box, like four by four coffee table. But in the end, I put this um pets ornament on there, and I decided uh, from there I was just gonna put pet stuff, uh, put some pet stuff in there because I thought why not? We can it's all in the same pack. God, my this is really hard to watch in my head and stuff. Um. So probably because I put the really high quality. Hopefully it shows through on YouTube, but I actually bumped up the quality. So it's a bit harsh on the computer, but it's nicer. Um, but yeah, we tend to use the outside walling and inside most of it. But I think we might use the different, yeah, different color variation. This is a moment where we do a lot. I think outhouse maybe like a little. Um, it has a glass roof. Um, I don't know what you call it. Like, I would call it an outhouse because it's part of the house, but it's outside. But an outhouse is where you put a toilet. This is just where you put all your plants and they got your decoration boxes in there. You'll see in a minute. I have to make it a bit big because I wanted it to be even so I can put these um big glass uh big windows on there so it actually looks uh like a like a conservatory but it's like outside. Um, so it's not much. Um. Privacy, privacy or privacy is one or the other privacy in there um yeah and i always use that vampire flooring that, that that's so good um yeah and i was thinking good next video too uh, i might just put it out there next video or oh, we do some beekeeping boxes outside that's really nice and i actually keep the web machine behind the little i'm gonna call it outhouse quote unquote um well on to um just film this little thing in with some plants and everything. I used some pots from Jungle Adventure and I put some plants in it. I think one or two from Jungle Adventure. I'm not sure. I might use one from Jungle Adventure and one from no, the normal game, base game. I'm not too sure. But what was I saying? Um, next video, I was thinking about doing a coin household video. Because I've been playing Sims a lot in my personal time. Um, when I'm just chilling, when I'm not doing videos or well working <laughs> um so i've been i've been getting into this game game save that i kind of want to share i'm not sure many people would watch it because i mainly builds but i mean it's like a one-off video and i feel like those are the best kind of videos where you, you know you can watch it once and you don't have to watch more and more uh kind of like let's play services or any kind of series uh but you can have services which is kind of like one-offs 
Uh, but yeah, uh, we do like a nice little path around it. There was nowhere to lead off of, so I just left it, you know, just going around the house. And I think we wanted screenshots. I did try to put some plants in the garden, but I realised when I was trying to get some plants from the gallery, I've seen the Sim Supplies. Sim Supplies? I mean the Sim Panions. <laughs> the Sim, uh, Sim Panions do it in the past. Um, but I realised there was so much space. I just, no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, nice y- little yellow scheme all through the house. I think, I think you're all the yellow scheme. I think mainly is in the living room and the bedroom but there's a little bit in the dining room um yeah there's not much in the kitchen i decided to put a flog a frog a, a flog flog no not flog frog um broke down for some reason and but this is like the little outhouse or what would you call it? like shed i guess maybe like a conservatory shed it's really nice i got some um got some jungle adventure rugs down and it just, I really like this space. And then uh, you got the rev machine. It doesn't do all the stuff. I think you have to upgrade it. But you, I like this with the, uh, the gnomes ride and the uh, flamingos. But I think that's co- we're coming to the end now. So I hope you all like this video. Make sure to leave us a little, little subscribe and a like on this video. And hit the notification bell. If you want to see more f- from this channel, from me. And I uh, hope you all have a nice day. And goodbye.